dear students today we will start second unit of building construction in previous lectures we had studied about the various building materials after mix mixing that materials we produce a mix homogeneous mix that is known as concrete so in this unit we have to study the following topics as mentioned here that is ingredients of cement concrete and grades of concrete its proportion for nominal mixed concrete then workability compressive strength of concrete and curing of concrete so we will start our topic concrete concrete fresh concrete may be defined as a plastic mixture of cementing material so cementing material can be lime or cement so concrete is mixed with sand crushed stones crushed stones or maybe it gravels in the presence of water so concrete is the major material that is used for the construction purposes and concrete is a product obtained artificially by hardening of the mixture of the above materials so certain admixtures are also sometimes added to concrete to increase its specific properties then concrete has become so important material in nowadays for every type of construction such as buildings roads highways tunnels and etc etc majorly it is a building construction uh, material it is used in buildings concrete finds its application right from foundation to the topmost story in multi story structures through floors at all the levels window sill levels cantilever and architectural fences it is also used in transportation purposes for pavement design streets highways airports traffic tunnels foundation for roadways etc and it is a major building material for massive constructions such as dams water treatment plant water storage tank and a waterproof fireproof or maybe it used as a soundproof material for shielding against radiations in x-ray plant as you know it in atomic power plants then we know about what are the ingredients of concrete so major ingredients of concrete are cement so we have studied types of cement but mostly we go through go through portland cement it is most widely used cementitious ingredient in the present day concrete work then secondly we use fine aggregates fine aggregates that is sand then we go as coarse aggregate coarse aggregate means that is crushed stones or gravels then we mix water then admixtures if required then cement as we all know cement is used as a binding material to bind the coarse and fine aggregate particles together by setting and hardening around such particles then fine aggregates fine aggregates are the aggregates which passes through 4.75 mm is sieve is means indian standard sieve and contains only so much coarser material as permitted in the relevant is codes are called fine aggregates please mark to the mark to your notes uh, with pencil what specific points i give extra in with this relevant notes then the fine aggregate serves the purpose of filling all the open spaces in between the coarser particles so it is used as a filler material then we mix coarse aggregate coarse aggregate are the aggregates which is retained on the 4.75 mm is sieve and containing only so much finer particles as permitted for various types described in the relevant is codes so what is the function of coarse aggregate so function of coarse aggregate is majorly to bear the load component of the concrete then coarse aggregate may be described as uncrushed gravel crushed gravel and partially crushed gravel majorly depends upon its shape or size then we mix water so water 
majorly acts as a lubricant for the fine and coarse aggregate it majorly reduces friction between the aggregates and provides a nominal mix compound and it forms a binding cement paste for the aggregate around their surface then what to use for mixing and curing as we all know that after the construction of the structure we put water for 28 days it is known as curing so water performs majorly two functions first it helps in the hydration process of cement then second it acts as a lubricant and it forms a film around the aggregate surface then at last we mix admixture admixture is a additional material as we cook food in home and majorly uh, flourish or uh, improve its taste by adding cardamom or coriander just like that concrete is also enhanced his prop its property by using admixtures so admixtures majorly what are the purpose of admixture it improves its workability reduction in bleeding retardation reduction in heat of hydration it increases in setting time improvement of penetration and reduction in segregation so next we go to the grades of concrete so if i say you to make a m20 grade of concrete so here m20 of grade concrete means m refers to the mix and the number that is 20 refers to the specified characteristic compressive strength it is denoted by fck and how we recognize that this concrete grade that is m20 is have specified compressive strength of 20 newton per mm square we make a concrete cube of size 150 mm and crushed it after 28 days then we know that after crushing if its strength is above than 20 newton per mm square then we uh, name it as m20 grade of concrete then this 20 newton per mm square strength is gained after 28 days because we know that in previous unit uh, we studied cement that hydration process of 80 to 90 percent is completed in 28 days so that's why we crush the cube at 28 days then this fck is nothing but the characteristic compressive strength what do you mean by characteristic compressive strength the characteristic strength is defined as the strength of material below which not more than five percent of the test results are expected to fall 5% of the test results expected to fall means if we make 100 cubes of samples then after crushing the 100 cube of samples not more than 5 cubes have expected results below 20 newton per mm square so we specify it as m20 grade of concrete so there are many grades of concrete from m10 to m80 as you as here you can see in table then next we go to the proportions for nominal mix concrete normally the concrete depends great extent on its proportion proportions means its ingredients so this is called mixed design the process of deciding relative proportion of cement sand and coarse aggregate is define its grade of concrete so next the classification specifying proportions of the constituents and their characteristics is termed as prescriptive specifications is based on the hope that adherence to such practice uh, prospective specifications then next there are two types of uh, there are two types of mixed design that is nominal mixed concrete and designed mixed concrete if we have to make above m20 grade of concrete just for example m30 grade of concrete then we have to find out its mixed design proportion then we come upon water cement ratio as we all know that water cement ratio is most important property of concrete a cement of average composition requires about 25 percent of water mass for their chemical reaction or hydration process and 17 percent of its water for filling the gel pores around the particles then next the water cement ratio is the most important property that 
enhances its strength and decreases its strength the general belief that a water cement ratio of less than 40 percent or so should not be used in concrete because for the process of hydration if we use water cement ratio below 40 percent then the hydration process is not completed and the strength that should be gained by the structure or our mix proportion is not considerable at that end so it is a major proportion to decide as we can see from the graph if you if you increase the water cement ratio then comparatively the compressive strength also decreases here in the graph you can see that here in the graph you can see here that if you are compacting with a vibrator then the water cement ratio needed is very less if you use hand compaction as comparable to mechanical vibration then water cement ratio needed is more and if we use normal hand compaction or mechanical compaction then we have to needed more water cement ratio then we come upon workability of concrete what do you mean by workability the workability of concrete can be defined as the ease with which concrete can be mixed handled transported placed in position and compacted as workability is also defined as it determines the amount of internal work necessary to produce full compaction the greatest single factor that affects the workability is the amount of water in the mix a workable concrete does not show any bleeding or segregation bleeding of concrete takes place when the excess water comes at the surface causing small pores through the mass of the concrete as i had uh, posted a photo of segregation and bleeding in your group then you can recognize from there that segregation means bleeding means the excess water that comes up upon the surface and segregation means the coarser aggregate separates out it from finer materials means the aggregates is having maximum specific gravity so it settles down and finer materials comes to the surface so it results in large voids less durability and less strength then the workability mainly a complex system of two critical parameters that is consistency and homogeneity consistency means the thinner the paste will be by increasing the water then how we develop or measure the workability in the lab so the following tests are done to measure the workability of concrete one of them is the slump cone test second compaction factor test then third vb consistometer test then fourth flow test so first we come upon slump test slump test is the majorly done test at the field in this test concrete is compacted in a vessel of the shape of a frustum of a cone that is open at both the ends and concrete is compacted in this mold in four layers compacting each layer by 25 times and majorly we as here you can see in diagram that the concrete is filled inside this mold in four layers each layer is stamped 25 times after the concrete is stamped you can lift this mold vertically upward then you measure the subsidence of concrete subsidence means the settlement of concrete how much the concrete settles after the removal of the mold it measures it is known as slump as here you can see in this table that different slump values are needed for different type of work for example concrete for road work slump needed is 20 to 30 mm ordinary rcc work 50 to 100 mm column 75 to 150 mm and etc etc then the slump is defined by its shape that is true slump shear slump and collapse slump as here you can see in this diagram then next we come upon the second test that is compaction factor test here in this test compaction factors test 
measures the workability of concrete in terms of internal energy required to compact the concrete fully. In this here you can see the cylinder at the bottom and two hoppers top of it. So we mix the concrete and concrete is filled in the upper hopper then this hopper clamp gate is trap door is open then concrete is fall in lower hopper then trap door is open then concrete falls in the bottom cylinder then we measure the empty weight of cylinder then weight of cylinder with concrete so weight of empty cylinder is w1 weight of cylinder with concrete is w2 so w2 minus w1 is the weight of concrete that is inside the cylinder it is theoretical weight of concrete then again the concrete mix is filled inside this cylinder manually by tamping with rods then it is fully compacted concrete then its weight is w3 then w3 minus w1 is weight of concrete manually compacted inside the cylinder so compaction factor is nothing but it is the observed weight of concrete in the mold to the theoretical weight of the concrete in the mold so it is a factor so if it comes 0.85 then it is low workable concrete if it is 0.92 that it is medium workable concrete and if it is 0.95 that it is good workable concrete then what are the factors affecting workability we can discuss in next class thank you to all the students